Well, yeah, I know. I, I didn't want it to, to get this heavy, but, but this is really what it is. Um, what is the color blue? It's nothing. It's numbers. This is not Pythagorean and, and trying to reduce the world into numbers. Numbers is what is what, what is out there. You interpret it and and you create your understanding. But in essence, it's just a vibrational uh, pulse in the electromagnetic spectrum. It's right. just I mean, that, that, that makes somewhat more sense to say that it, it everything is waves, everything is frequencies, everything is relative resonance. Because they say that it's just numbers. I mean, just to miss the obvious point that those are the simplest. Yeah, but first, there's the dominating symbols we've found to, to represent. But it, that's the point. They're really not symbols. We use symbols to convey them, but they are phenomenons in themselves. You cannot say that there would be no three if there wasn't a symbol three. Well, that makes no sense. There would still be that phenomenon in the real world. That pattern would exist. That's the difference. This would have a meaning in itself without you observing it. Well, certainly an existence. What what happens is that that the that the connections uh, and the personal or intrinsic meaning of the things that is something that you can put in there, and you can give it a name. Well, that that gets us into the whole theological issue really but that's what you can do right you can say this is a spiral yes but the spiral will be there even though you don't have a name for it yeah right obviously I need to study the quadrivium some more <laughs> well uh, of course in, in abstraction because it's such a huge field right because reality is so big um, you're never going to finish it. That means that there's always going to be things that haven't been discovered yet. But you can't say that you've invented it. What we can invent is only thing that is anthropological um, and anthropomorphic. It's only things that relate to human beings. There would not be any chairs without humans. But there'd be plenty of wood. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Right. So function is one thing, and that is usually something that, um, related to to human enterprise and ingenuity. 